Hey guys, welcome back to Mask at Monday. My name's Marie. Um, today we're on location at the Kula Country Farms. This is a 100% local farm where they sell strawberries. Even sometimes during the year you can come up here and pick the strawberries fresh yourself. Um, today we're going to be masking with the Laurel Whole Plant Organics Honeyberry Enzyme Mask. It, one of the prime ingredients is strawberries. So I thought it'd be fun to show you a little bit of Maui, pick up some fresh strawberries, and um, do our face mask all in one video. So. I want to take you back to where I first got this good vibe and I see that you're rocking it steady when the mix line drops just be ready. You want to jam and have a good time, forget about the world on your mind. Tonight ain't no time to be lazy. Now come on everybody get ready We are gonna take you back to the valley One more time, yes you and I One more time, oh. been Hey guys, uh, we're back at my house now. I hope you enjoyed our trip to the Kula Country Farms. Let's get into the actual mask of Mask at Monday. Like I said, we're doing the Laurel Whole Plant Organics Honey Berry Enzyme Mask. Let me tell you about it. There's only five ingredients. Um, one is honey, the second is royal jelly, the third is strawberries, then blueberries, and grapefruit. Um, so the honey, as we know, has an antibacterial or antimicrobial effect. The royal jelly, um, which is another bee product, is high in vitamin B, super antioxidants, and stimulates collagen production. Strawberries are high in vitamin C. They're also good for skin lightening and they prolong the life of collagen. Blueberries are high in vitamin A and C and other antioxidants. And grapefruit tightens skin tissue, strengthens and restores, vi restores vitality to skin and provides an uplifting effect. All right, so let's take a look at the mask here. This is a sample size that I got in the Beauty Heroes box. You can check out my review. It's a couple videos back. Um, because of the royal jelly, if you've ever used royal jelly before, this mask is very thick. They recommend only a teaspoon. So I'm gonna spoon some out. And then I'm gonna put it here on my hand and you can just see it's not moving. Um, so they recommend moist hands and a moist face. So I'm gonna moist with some toner, moisten, glisten with some toner. And this one I've had in the fridge so it's toning so well. All right, and then I'm gonna warm it up in my hand and I'm actually gonna spread it out quite a bit because it's that thick. The first time I did it, true to myself, I did not read the directions and I just slathered it on there and I was like, whoa, I might pull the skin on my face off. Don't do what I did. So they recommend leaving it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and then just washing it off. This mask, if you were to buy the full size, is $44. If this mask interests you after you watch this video, I will link the Laurel website. So I did mention in my Beauty Heroes review that I was going to be doing a giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this giveaway is actually already closed because if you've ever commented on a mask at Monday, then you were automatically entered into the giveaway. Um, I am going to be doing another giveaway on Wednesday if you're watching this and you're like, but wait, I just found your channel and I wanted to be in your giveaway. Um, go to, uh, on Wednesday actually, I will be posting um, another subscription box review and I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the general public. But this one is just for the people who've been watching and supporting and I thank you and I love you. And um, the winner is actually... So um, I calculated the results on Random Picker. Take a look. So yeah, congratulations. So some of the benefits of this mask um, are that it provides exfoliation without the need for manual exfoliation. Um, but I would say that this is probably not gonna bring you a ton of moisture back. It is gonna give you that glow because it's gonna do exfoliation, but it's not gonna put a ton of moisture in your skin. The honey and the royal jelly 
They don't hold a lot of the moisture to the skin and the berries that are included really are just there for the antioxidants and the vitamin C properties, the you know vitamin C and A properties. So um, you're gonna wanna moisturize and do all those normal things that you do after applying the mask. So that was Mask It Monday. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week.